In this video, we'll demonstrate the simple configuration of Phoenix Contact's new Ethernet IP gateway using its integrated web server. We'll also configure the gateway to allow the Ethernet IP master to read data from a Modbus RTU device and write data to a Modbus TCP slave. First, power on the gateway, then log into the unit's built-in web server. Out of the box, the gateway has the default IP of 192.168.254.255. You'll need to make sure your PC's IP address is set to this IP range before you proceed. To do this, launch a web browser and enter 192.168.254.254 in the web address bar and hit enter. This will launch the gateway's configuration. Once the web page is loaded, log into the device. The default username is admin with a capital A and the password is admin, all lowercase. Once you are logged in, configure the serial port to match the configuration of the serial device you want to communicate with. To do this, select the Serial Setting tab, then select the serial port you want to configure. Make sure the serial port configuration matches the communications device you plan on connecting. Verify the setting inside the Modbus configuration field to verify Modbus RTU Slaves is selected from the dropdown. You can also modify the response timeout and write mode for the desired communications. This completes the configuration for your Modbus RTU device. Click the Apply Changes button and move on to set up the Modbus TCP communications to our second slave. Select Modbus Settings, then the Remote Modbus Addressing tab. Click the Add button and enter the device ID that will be associated with your Modbus calls. For this example, we'll enter 3 and then enter the IP address of the Modbus TCP device we want to gather data from. Then click the Apply Changes button. Now that we've set up the connections to our serial and Ethernet device, we need to select the data we'd like to read from or write to these devices. Click on the Data Mapping Setting tab. For this example, we'll be using read and write to tag functions to transfer data back and forth between the gateway and our Ethernet IP PLC. Access the Modbus to Tag File tab to set up a Modbus read that will then transfer to the PLC. Click the Add Default Configuration button to set up a read from our Modbus RTU device. First, enter the device ID of our serial device, the function code for the Modbus read request, along with the address and length of the read. Then select where this information is going to be passed. In this example, we're writing this information to a Control Logics PLC at the following IP address and to the following controller tag. Then we can switch to our RS Logics project and add a tag with this exact name, data type, and dimension, if the tag is part of an array. If that was the only data we needed, we could compile and download the project to the PLC and data would start transferring. But in this example, we're going to communicate with a Modbus TCP device. We'll write data from the PLC and transfer it to the Modbus device. Start in RS Logics and declare a global tag of type integer, verifying it has read write in the external access. Go back to the gateway configuration and go to the Tag File to Modbus tab and click the Add Default Configuration button. Since we're accessing the same PLC, we want to set up the Ethernet IP sections as follows. On the Modbus right, We'll select ID3 because in an earlier step, we set up ID3 to have an association with IP 192.168.0.10. Then we'll perform a single register to write to the address our device uses to access its output with a length of one. Once complete, we'll apply our changes. The last step is to set the unit's final IP address so it can be accessed from the IP address range our PLC and Modbus TCP device is currently on. This can be done under the LAN setting tab. In the IP address window, enter the desired IP address you want to use and click the Apply Changes button. Once you click the button, the unit will reboot and will be ready to start converting your Modbus data to Ethernet IP and vice versa. If you require additional assistance, contact our technical service department at 
3225.